Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Kylie. And I'm Ange. And today we're watching Avatar The Last Airbender Season 3, Episode 17. So this is the last episode before the four-part finale, which is pretty exciting. We're really looking forward to next week. We're going to watch them all together. Last episode was really, really good, as most of the episodes have been in Book 3. So we had Katara finally face the guy that took and probably killed her mum. But she didn't end up getting revenge on him and just realized that I think the best course of action was just to move on from that. And facing him was enough. And she made up with Zuko. It was a really wholesome time. It was so nice. I'm so happy. <laughs> but but at the end of the episode, Aang was posed with the question, what are you going to do when faced with the Fire Lord? Are you going to be so forgiving? So that's going to be interesting to see how Aang works through that. But anyway, should we get into it? Let's get into it. Okay, let's go, boys. <laughs> nice. Doesn't it seem Making great progress, it seems. Oh, what the heck? <laughs> I mean, that's true. Oh shit! Wait, did you see the guy playing soccer? Yeah. Production from acclaimed playwright Puante. My mother used to take us to see them. They butchered love amongst the dragons every year. They have to go and see it. Have you seen soccer in in the poster? Of course, he wants to go watch it. <laughs> like a forty-year-old man or something. Oh, this is gonna be good. Oh my gosh. Oh, poor Toph. <laughs> hey, she can hear it though. I wanted to sit there. Just sit next to me. What's the big deal? I was just... I wanted to... Okay. Come on, Zuko. It's <laughs> <laughs> gonna kill me all episode. Oh, come on now. Sounds like him. <laughs> Is food the only thing on your mind? Well, I'm trying to get it out of my mind and into my mouth. I'm starving. He's not wrong. This is guitar from Shane. Yeah, I wish the actors were better. <laughs> like in the play. <laughs> Wait. This is the perfect episode before the finale. Wow. This is perfect. <laughs> Was he a dragon? Wait. The lashes, though. I'm the Avatar, silly. Here to spread joy and fun. Wait, oh my it? gosh. <laughs> the bald cat. You can't do Arpa like that. Oh. And he's not yellow, damn it. He's not wild. A wild beast. An airbender. My heart is so full of hope that it's making me tearbend. Tearbend, I've seen that joke used yes! in the comment section. Is that where they got it from? <laughs> Zuko's loving it. They're losing brain cells by the minute. The Fire Nation are wrong for this. Zuko's smiling until he rocks up. Yeah, true. true. He's going to feature. Toph's loving it too. Oh, your boys. Not you, Toph. <laughs> no, no, I know. That's wrong. I don't have time to you know who that face. is? I must capture the avatar. Are we getting my That's not that bad. Aro is absolutely Whoa. wrong, man. Maybe slice. How dare you sit where he sat? Actually, I think that actor is pretty spot on. I think he's been the most accurate. What? Zuko's? Yes, yes. How could you say that? 
Lucy. <laughs> <laughs> They've butchered Aang. They've Why butchered him. Why have they done that, though? <laughs> <laughs> Aang copped it the worst, and he's the main character, too. Yeah. Whoa! Wait a second. Oh, these kitties are huge. <laughs> <laughs> this is hysterical, honestly. Wow. That's pretty much how that went. <laughs> They've done Katara really dirty. Katara and Aang copped it the worst. This though, I think this is just for the viewers. I'm thinking about the logistics. So I'm saying, I reckon we this is the, the perfect, it's the perfect episode before the four-part finale. Okay. A bit of lightheartedness. Yeah. Before what's to come. No, it was exactly like that. <laughs> like literally. <laughs> but it's actually it's going through all the main episodes. It looks like. Yep, there's Jet. <laughs> This is the best <laughs> one so far. We roasted Katara for this episode. Roasted yes. her. Way. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's brilliant. Oh, that's my favorite part so far. How could they do this to our queen? Carly, this episode is bloody crazy. No, this is like magnificent. <laughs> I can't wait to see Azula. I need to see Azula. Yes. They've destroyed Aang. An assassination of the main character. Yeah, it is. Oh, wow. Is that it? No. <laughs> Surely that's just, that's just book one. Yeah, that's just book one. We're fine. <laughs> this is great how they're doing this. It's like a recap. Yeah. Oh dear. What? Yeah, that's not you at all. Oh. <laughs> See, Ang's there to bigger up at least. He was being sarcastic. But what you're seeing up there on that stage is the truth. Oh, they've got something planned for Toph for sure. Because oh she's getting God. all excited about it. Yeah. She's going to get super angry. <laughs> yep. <laughs> oh no, oh no, oh no. Oh no. She's going to cop it the worst. Oh, that's the best. The Kali. That is the best. Yeah, you have no idea. Oh, she loves it. Oh, okay. <laughs> that's perfect. I love this. Oh my gosh. Oh, he looks fabulous. Animators are magnificent for this. <laughs> you caught me. Wait, oh, she looks the same, damn it. I think it's your honor. Just like that. Azula, about Zuko. Do we let me down. She's let me down. She was too accurate. Oh, okay, so that's how they say yeah. Is this how they really unclear? Is this how they find out? I have to admit oh. this. Everyone shut up! <laughs> oh, Aang. I thought you were the Avatar's girl. It's <laughs> <laughs> like damn right. Like oh, the Zutara shippers wrote this episode. That's fan service. 
Not really. Oh! It's not the real Iro. It's not the real Iro. You didn't really say that, did you? I might as well have. Oh, he still feels bad about it. Of course it. he does. You have redeemed yourself to your uncle. You don't realize it, but you already have. How do you know? Because I once had a long conversation with the guy, and all he would talk about was you. Oh! No? <laughs> yeah, and it was kind of annoying. Oh, sorry. But he was also very sweet. All he apologized. was for you to find your own path and see the light. Now you're here with us. He'd be proud. I need to see them bend together or something. Ow. Hell yeah. Him and Ira. That's how I show affection. Cute. Your Zuko costume is pretty good, but your scar's on the wrong side. Oh my gosh. <laughs> the scar's not on the wrong side! <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> A rocky relationship. He's found his brother in this person. Also, yeah. Don't be afraid to make up some phrases, especially before an attack. Something like, Flying Kickabow! Who are you, anyway? I'm just a guy who likes comedy. We kissed at the invasion, and I thought we were going to be together. But we're not. And I don't know. Why don't you know? Because we're in the middle of a war. Yeah, it's not the time. There's other things to worry about. This isn't the right time. Well, what is the right time? It might help unblock his chakras. I'm just a little confused. He can't help him with that. I mean, he can. Oh, no. I just said I was confused. Yeah, that was the wrong move. You're right. He's young, though. He has no idea about these things. I just want to let you know, Aang, that I'll always love you. Like a brother. That's wrong. Come on. That's wrong. Okay. That's wrong! I hope everyone's ready for the invasion. Slap a <laughs> Well, this is what Sokka's gonna be doing afterwards. Yeah. Be writing scripts. They keep changing his the hair. hairstyles. Oh my god. <laughs> The play gonna be them watching themselves at the play? The actors obviously on work experience. <laughs> the whips are a good idea for the bending. I have to yeah. give credit for that. <laughs> oh. oh no. <laughs> <laughs> He doesn't need to see this. This has been a nightmare for Ag. Yeah. From start to finish. It's like the worst day of his life. Well, it'll be the second worst day of his life. Well, because this is the Fire Nation as well, they're not going to make him win. Yeah, of course not. He's not going to be victorious in the play. The dreams of my father and my father's father have now been realized. The world is All the budget went to Ozai. Mine. Yep. Soccer, this was a shit idea coming here. Shit. Yeah. That wasn't a good play. <laughs> I'll say. No kidding. Horrible. You said it. But the effects were decent. He's not wrong. Wow. Okay. Pretty funny what the animators did there. Uh, <laughs> they gave us a, the full on recap. Yep. I didn't realize until they were literally going through every important moment that's already happened in the series. And it makes sense this being like. Or knowing this is the episode before the four part finale, mm -hmm. I think it was a good way to lightheartedly recap the story before the end. Hysterical what they did with Toph. Ang and Katara got dirty, but I like all the little details they added in there. Like that's how you know it was a little bit of a a piss take and a almost like a love letter to the show as a whole. Like yeah, and the community. I feel like they memed themselves like just over and over again. Very funny. Yeah, but like little things like the Zutara ship. So obviously a lot okay, of people yeah. ship Zutara and they kind of wrote that in to the play, which is funny. But I feel so sad for Aang though. That was just the most awkward. Yeah, we'll talk about the serious okay. parts in a sec. Right. But Toph, hysterical. Uh, Azula let me down. She was too accurate. <laughs> yeah. 
Iroh was just wrong. Iroh was wrong. Zuko was pretty accurate too. I thought it was yeah. pretty funny as well. The tear bending. Tear bending. That was another thing. Massive. Yeah. Little questions like, did Jet actually die? Yeah. I see these comments a lot in the comment section. So like, this is how you know that when they constructed this episode, when they wrote this episode, they really wanted to lean into the community and, and all of that, which mm. was really cool to see. The serious parts about the episode, it wasn't the biggest motivator for Aang going into the final battle, was it? No, he probably would be better or in a better headspace if he didn't go. If he never saw that. Oh, and then he, yeah, he did stuff up by kissing Katara. Yeah, she needed space there. Yeah. So you were actually right originally. I've got to give you credit for this, by the way. So you said a while back when they were on that ship that she was a little bit uncomfortable. Yeah. I saw her blush and I'm like, oh. Yeah, no. She thought that was okay, but she had that concerned look on your face now that I'm remembering and yeah. she was confused a little bit. Mm. But I'm going to go ahead and say that it's just because... Maybe she wouldn't want to commit to anything right now, not knowing, like, with all the uncertainty surrounding the war and what's going to potentially happen with them in the future, what? I have to shut you down. Why? What? She was, like, in love with Jet. I'm telling you, it's Aang. She has no feelings for Aang. He's like a little brother to her. I've said it before. No, that's wrong. I've said it before. No, I completely disagree with you. I literally completely sibling disagree zoned with you. them. No, completely disagree. In, like, season I think, one. No, I think that was part of the joke here that they were telling. I think the, a lot of the community say that. That's why they poked fun at that joke in this episode, but it's not true. It's not true. They've they've written Katara and Aang to love each other the whole way through. There have been so many signs, Carly. Literally so many signs. The chakras, man. Something as serious as the chakras got to do with Katara she's, and Aang together. He's not involved with his chakras, okay? He has to sort that out for himself. Mark my words, they'll end up together. Not in this phase of their life. Give Aang ten years. Aang needs to become a man. Interesting. Because she's not him. No, she likes him. She does, for sure. She does. No. There are plenty of hints, Carly. No. She does. No. You're in denial. No, I'm not. The typical Zutara shipper right here. <laughs> we thought we, we had growth last episode. It's all unraveled. <laughs> she just said she was confused, and she did shut down the feelings. I feel with... like... She didn't love Maybe Jet. this is just me. Come on, Carly. Wait, what are you what? saying nonsense? What? You said she loved Jet. She had a crush on Jet for five yes. minutes. That's... How you know Katara has a crush on someone. She'll be acting the way she was acting when she was around she Jet. She wanted to kiss Aang inside the Badger Cave. That was for the greater good. She was blushing was and turning around and, and doing her hair, you know. Look, like, I just, I don't see it nah, at all. come on, really Carly. Don't. Open your I eyes. I feel so bad for Aang. You honestly think they're not going to, they're not going to be together. She hasn't given me anything, not one thing to let me know that, oh yeah, Katara might like Aang. That's an outrageous statement. There have been so many moments no, in the series. I disagree. I strongly disagree. Sure. I'm not, I'm not saying you can't make an argument to say the little brother thing, right? That's why they poked fun of it because obviously a lot of people are saying that. But the way the writers have set the two characters up and given them plenty of romantic moments together, you've just forgotten okay. them because you're a Zutara shipper. Yeah, so I what? I hate to say it. So what? I just think... You know, I was a young female at one point. They're not writing your story. Just feel like. <laughs> They're writing Katara's story. I know with Katara Aang. better than you. <laughs> I don't no, think you do. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. But yeah, I just don't get any vibe at all. Not one little, little tiny little thing. Oh, not shit. one little tiny thing. Oh shit. Carly's spoken. But she She's like, she's not only gone back to Zutara maybe. I haven't even mentioned Zuko once. But she has completely shut down has Katang. Nothing. In to... fact, she wants to kill Katang. She wants to put it in the bin. I don't want to do anything with Katang. Doesn't sound like it to me. There's nothing there. Oh, Carly. Ang has a crush on Katara, it's, and it's not reciprocated. It's usually me having to hold my ground in the comment section and defend myself. But Carly, this is just my opinion. This is just my what I'm seeing. Oh shit! No one needs to get upset. You're in strife. <laughs> You're in a lot of strife. <laughs> Why? What do you mean, Carly? You're in strife. They're hey, already typing. No. They're no. typing right now. They're Stop. yelling at you. And it's been such a wholesome comment section and you've just destroyed it. Right then, in this one episode, you've gone and destroyed it. It's your truth. I have to respect that it's your truth. I think your desire for Aang to be with Katara, because mm. you want that for Aang, don't you? Yeah, of course. Yeah, I think that's clouding your judgment about how Katara actually feels about Aang. 
I don't think it is at all. There has been, okay, and let's forget about the moment he burned her alive, but <laughs> there has been no other character that has treated Katara more lovingly and respectfully than Aang in okay. the whole show. That's on Aang. That's Aang's actions towards Katara. What about Katara's feelings and actions back towards Aang? They've kissed multiple times. Now, only once was because of her, and that was to get out of a situation. She wanted to do it. I could see it on her face there. Okay. There's been clear chemistry between the two characters throughout that you just haven't seen. There have been multiple moments. Look, everything Katara said, I don't want to be in a relationship or, you know, commit to anything because of the war, whatever else she said, that's an excuse. Look at Sokka and Suki. Interesting point. You're still wrong. They made it work because they both want to be in a relationship with each other. Doesn't matter if there's a war. If there was a war, I'd still be in a relationship with you. I mean, we're married and we've been together for like 12 years, but still. <laughs> yeah, but it's a different circumstance with Aang. Their situation is a lot different to Sokka and Suki. You're just saying that he's got to grow up completely before they get together? You've got to see him See, more. I don't mind that theory as much, but they belong together. But I don't mind that theory as much. What? Wait a little bit? Yeah, let him go off for four or five years. She's not seeing him as... Well, Katara's at an age she, where... Yeah. 14, 15. You know, if she wants to kiss someone, she wants to look up at them and kiss them and be wrapped around their arms and stuff. Right now, she's got to look down. And I'm not saying that it's Aang's fault. He's a little cutie pie. No, that's wrong. But that's... he needs to grow up a bit for her to see him as a man, you know? I don't know necessarily. I mean, remember that episode as well where they danced together? Come on, Carly. It's been set up. It's been set up. Heart's not in it. I don't know what to tell you. No, your heart's not in it. Let's end the video. This is too much bickering. Katang forever. I thought this was going to be a Katang short Katang forever. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching our reaction. If you liked it, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe. It would really help us out. For early access to all of our reactions, you can support us on Patreon if you'd like. And yeah, thank you so much again. We'll see you in the next one. Bye.